Hi friends, this is Akhilesh from Paraguide and today we would like to show you a small demo on search customizations in SharePoint Office 365. So today we will have a quick overview of SharePoint Search Center. Then we will see a small demo on inbuilt capabilities of SharePoint Search Center. Then we will discuss the actual purpose for creating this video, the customizations which we would like to do and then we will have a demo on the that customizations. So as of to give you a uh, basic idea of the, the customizations which we are going to do, basically we want to enable few new custom search verticals on SharePoint Search Center to let us search discussions, tasks and announcements. We will see more into it later. Okay, so as an overview for SharePoint Search Center, basically it is a site collection or site which provides us an interface to query SharePoint content using some keywords. And by default, we have two kind of search centers available in SharePoint. That is Enterprise Search Center and then the other one is Basic Search Center. So Basic Search Center has very limited capabilities and was mostly targeted toward the SharePoint Foundation users whereas today we are going to look into the enterprise search centers and the configurations which we can do in it. So enterprise search center basically <coughs> contains uh, few pages plus some settings to enable us to search the content inside SharePoint. So as of the, the area which we are looking into today is around search verticals. So by default Enterprise Search Center has four search verticals available. That is everything, people, conversation and videos. So all these search verticals actually internally has a page for them. Like for everything we have results.spx. For videos we have video results.spx. So these pages actually contains search web parts like refinement panel, search box, search navigation and search result web part. So these web parts are configured to show content, content depending on the search vertical which we are searching for. Like uh, on videos uh, search vertical we will have search result web part configured to show the content from uh, video uh, result source or some other filters as it is applied. So let's get to the actual actual demo of search site. So this is the home page of search center and if I search a keyword like say demo it takes us to the default uh, search vertical that is everything inside which we can see the results coming from across the SharePoint site which is of types of discussions then you have team site some list like the announcement discussion then we have things coming from site assets videos tasks everything is coming up here then we have verticals like people which shows us people from SharePoint like a cliche or my FC so basically it has return this result because we have demo creator in the description of this user. Similarly, if we go to the videos, you will see only the videos with the, the demo keyword in their title description or some other properties. So that's the main purpose of search vertical to let us view the results based on some specific categories. So that category can be type or that category can be some source like say if we have a site and we want to see uh, results only from that site we can create a vertical with the name of that site and then we can limit the results on that page to that site itself. So similar to these search verticals we would like to create our own search vertical here which should be displayed somewhere here and should show the content only of type tasks, announcements or discussions. So to do that 
we will have to create some pages in the pages library and then we will have to create some and uh, do some settings inside the search, search settings page on the set site settings page so before we start creating our own custom search verticals let's see what we have on this video search vertical so if I edit the page you can see there are four web parts what we uh, which we have here so you have refinement on the left then we have search box then you have search navigation and then there is the search result web part on the bottom so these four web parts in collaboration to each other basically shows us the results which we want based on the query which we do so out of these four the most important one here is the search result web part and if I edit the properties of search result web part you can see there are a few settings to to control the behavior of this web part so for today we will focus on the query that is change query button so this enables to configure the queries for this web part so right now we are looking into the videos search vertical so here you see the query under the result source we have local video result as the, the result source and then the as of scope you can see there is no limitation over the results coming from like it can be from the site collection. so we the settings which we can do is like it can come from site collection or say from specific URL and so then you can also restrict the results using some tags and then and then there is the additional filter option where you can have your own filter specified to show you the to limit the results if we switch to the advanced mode again the same settings can be done using this advanced UI which is more like uh, more easy to understand that's what I feel where you can go and then select the property on which you want to filter the results or say you can add some keywords which can be used to filter the re on the results like the, the current user who is looking for the results or say some values from the URLs and something like that so here in the advanced you see the result source is still is not the video local video results instead it is local SharePoint results because that's the main result source which we have in the SharePoint available and over there we have the query text which is used to filter the the results so that we get only the videos on the page so that's the query text for it so I will cancel this and I will discard the checkout for this page so that there is no unsaved changes and now let's start by creating our own search vertical so to, to do that we will go to the pages library and we will create our own page using the search results page layout let's name it as discussion and the page name will also be discussion results and we create it so once you go to the page you can see by default also we have those web parts added here so so all those four web parts are still here now if I search again the keyword demo the results being returned on this page seems very much similar to the page everything so so all the results here you see is like discussions sites pages micro feeds videos all are here which is similar to the everything search vertical whereas what we want is we want this page to only show us discussions as the results so let's start by configuring the search result web part to achieve that So again on the change query so here if you see right now what it is we have is so result source is local SharePoint results which is being filter uh, queried using the search box query that is what we add in the, the, the keyword demo uh, search box and then the results are shown to us we would just like to add our own extra filter here that is to limit the use uh, results using content type contains 
discussion so it's not here so let me show all the content types and here we can select discussions I add this property filter here okay so what you see is a new filter has been added in the query text that is the content type ID contains some ID so this ID actually is the base base uh, is ID of the base discussion content type if we test the query you see there are results coming in which are of type discussions so I will say ok ok and we will directly publish the page instead of saving it and then doing it in steps and here you see now only the results from the of discussion types are being shown on this page now the next thing which we have to do is we will have to add this page in this navigation so that we can easily navigate to that page uh, this page so for doing this we will copy this URL then we will go to the site settings in the site settings we will go to search settings so here you can see we have ability to configure the search navigation so here we can add our own navigation so let's add discussion and then the URL we have is this and we say ok let's save it now if we go to the home page of site and search again the demo keyword now you can see the discussion tab is here if we navigate to that page you see the, the results are only discussions so similar to this we will we will add two more uh, tabs that is for the tasks and announcements so let me quickly do that and then we will conclude the video okay so now I have created a two other search verticals that is discussion uh, uh, that is tasks and announcements so if we now search keyword demo here you can see the top five verticals that is the everything videos conversation people and discussions are shown here then the other two are being shown under the pop-up menu that is the tasks and announcements if you go to the tasks vertical you can see the tasks being returned in the results similarly announcements will show us only the announcements in the results now one last thing is that we can also rearrange the order of this navigation so if we go to site settings and search settings we can move say conversation a bit down so let's move it to the last and maybe people also uh, video also we can move to down and then we save it now if we go and refresh this page we can see our custom search verticals are being shown on top and then the other two are in the pop-up menu so that's the way you manage the order of these navigation so for today I think that's it so we have seen how how to add custom search nav, uh, search verticals plus we have also seen what all inbuilt search verticals are available in the SharePoint search center so on, in the next video we will look into the details of display templates like how display templates are managed and how they can be used mostly to render the results using custom UI Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching the video.